Right, today for the screen room post, I'm going to talk about octaves. Uh, what an octave is, it's the root note, and then it's the same note, but just one whole octave higher. So if you look on the bass guitar right here, I'm going to play an open E on the second string. And then right in the middle of the bass, I'm going to cut the string in half. I'm going to play it on the double dots. I'm going to play that high E, and that's exactly an octave above because the string has been cut in half. So it makes sense. Now you can use these octaves in your playing. I'm going to show you that on the song Wake by Hillsong Young and Free. The chord pattern is really straightforward. It's just going to be C, D, B, and E minor. Playing it on this five string bass, I'm going to use octaves, and they're going to be eighths, eighth note octaves to play uh, the form of the song. If you don't have like a synth doing a, a pattern that feels like it's oscillating, you can use these octaves in your four piece band or five piece band to make that kind of vibe happen. So right over here is the C, right up over here is the C, same, same note but an octave higher. It's the third fret on the A string, and you're going to play them alternating up to your D and then down to your B. So open B, and I'm playing the B on the A string right over here on the second fret, and then I'm going to go up to the E minor. You go up to that E minor. Uh, and when you play the whole part together, it sounds like this. And that's the pattern for the whole song. If you want to play those octaves on the chorus, they can feel really cool. Um, so I hope you guys got something out of that. And I'll catch you guys on the next Green Room post.